Hi everybody, welcome back to the Soapy Cauldron. So today I'm gonna to try something new and um, I'm going to attempt to make soap cupcakes. I posted a picture um, to show you a little sneak peek at what I'm making this weekend and the first thing that I'm going to be attempt to making is um, attempt to make is soap cupcakes. I've seen these on the internet. I've never tried it myself so it either is going to turn out really good or really bad but basically I'm using the exact same recipe that I use in my soaps um, with some like variations of like the amounts that I put but basically it's the exact same oils that I use in my soap with lye and water. Um, I didn't put kale and clay in this time uh, basically just because I forgot, but um, that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna take this bucket and put some, um, I think the color is lilac mica in it. And then I'm gonna put a, uh, it's like a light pink, but it is called princess red mica. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like three purple, three pink, and then I'm going to attempt to ice them with like the pink and purple uh, swirled icing. So that is the goal, that's the game plan. So the first thing we have to do is make the, um, make the base for the cupcakes so I'm just going to move this container off to the side because we don't need that one just yet and I'm going to use my boil uh, boil my bowl of oils and then my lye water solution and I'm just going to pour it in and pray that it's not too much to make it go out of the container oh man this might have been a mistake let's see Hopefully not, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna stick blend it together, which I don't want y'all to have to hear. It's kind of loud, which my dishwasher is running too, so you might hear that in the background, but I promise you the stick blender is a whole lot louder than the dishwasher, so I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna mix the, the oils and the lye water together, and then I'll come back and um, I'll show you how to add the color, okay? Okay, I'm back, and I have the um, soap all blended up. I'm not gonna be out and I'm not gonna lie I really kind of wish that I would have filmed that because it was quite comical I was scared that it was gonna like run down this little handle but it didn't and where everything worked out so I'm gonna pour half of it in here so I can have uh, two colors so it made exactly one liter which this one doesn't have any things on it but um, anyways half of it's gonna go in here and then one's gonna be pink and one's gonna be purple so let's see if that's close mm, a little bit more I'm trying to go for half should have like waited waited would have been easier okay that looks like almost exactly half I know you can't tell because this one's still got stuff on there but one's gonna be purple so let's put the purple in the right hand side and the other one is going to be pink so let's put the pink in mm. I love these colors so let's pray that they stay true to the color that they are. Sometimes the soap causes it to change colors and then also sometimes the um, the fragrance that you add causes it to change colors too. So I'm gonna try to color, not color, stir this with my um, spatula first. That looks decent. So I'm gonna put the stick blender in, I'm gonna blend up the colors and then I will be right back. All right, so I'm really pleased to say that so far so good. This one's still a very pretty lavender lilac color and this one is a very pretty like peachy pink. It's really pretty. Um, so now I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. I'm using Endlessly in Love by um, Nature's Garden and I'm gonna pour half in this one and half in this one. So hopefully uh, this one does not discolor the soap or the, yeah, it's gonna be soap. Hopefully it doesn't discolor the soap because sometimes that'll, that'll do it, but um, Hopefully not. This scent is uh, the one that I put in the pink lotion bars that I made. Um, I kind of bought it because I was thinking that I was going to put it in a soap based on um, Professor Snape and his endless love for Lily Potter, but I didn't. Um, but I did put the scent in a lotion bar, so if you're interested in this scent and you're not interested in a soapy cupcake, um, I do have it in a lotion bar, so hopefully that will appeal to you. I think next time I make a video, I won't have my dishwasher running, but I needed to wash dishes and make soap at the same time, so it's called multitasking. All right, so that is all mixed up. The color is still holding decent in the purple. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to um, pour it into my um, soap molds, my 
I say soap molds, but they're actually cupcake molds. And this is what I showed you a picture of, is my molds. And they are um, little roses. So I'll zoom you in on that. It's a rose. So this is gonna hold the soap. And then um, I'm gonna do soap frosting on um, the others. Not the others. When they're when they're dry, I'll do the soap frosting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour three with the purple, and then I'm also gonna make three with the pink, and everything that is left over is going to be made into frosting, so. I'm gonna do the pink next. I really like this pink. It's like a corally, pinky color with like pearl iridescence to it. It's really pretty. Now what I'm gonna do is, now that this is set, I'm regretting that I can't bang out the bubbles, but that is just what it's gonna have to be. And then I'm gonna let the soap uh, thicken up until it's frosting consistency. And when that happens, I'll come back and I will uh, frost them for you. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we're back and I have some uh, a friend with me. His name is Caleb. If you don't know, this is my son. Um, we might have waited too long on this, but I'm gonna try to attempt it. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to ice it anyways. It's very, very hard and very thick. I just don't know that this is gonna work. But but that means it might not take long to. It's not even staying on the soap. Ugh. I don't know what to do. Is that something you can eat? No, we cannot eat it, Caleb. <laughs> it looks so yummy. Just came out of my mold, whatever. This is a mess. So we'll just. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. Here's Me too. What's your idea? What are you about to do? Right there. That was my idea. That's a good idea. We'll do it like this, huh? And also, look. I leave it look just like pink, but now oh. the mixed together, it looks like perfect because it's pink and purple. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Why did we do this? We you use way too much. Yep. All right, so we are gonna take a break, see if we can reorganize ourselves, and we'll be right back. Okay, obviously I'm back. Obviously it's an entirely new day, and I made a new batch of frosting that I'm not taking any chances on. I'm sitting right here, and I'm watching it, and it will not turn to soap on me without paying attention. So I have mixed up another batch. It's not gonna be purple and pink like I wanted it to. It's gonna be white, but it is what it is. And as soon as it hardens enough for me to um, pipe with it, I will come back and pipe the soap cupcakes. But until now, I'm just gonna sit here and watch it. Bye. All right, let's try round three. I have frosting, I think, set up enough. So I'm gonna try to frost this cupcake. Um, the first thing to do is like build a base on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. This is the disaster that we were left with yesterday, but we tried. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my bag and I'm gonna keep going around, making like a base for it to start off with, and then I'll be back and then I'll continue to build, okay? Okay, got them all started to be frosted and now I'm gonna continue to build it up all the way to make the nice big frosting top. So all the way around. And then you put that base in the middle to have something to build onto while, so it's not like a hollow in the center. So that's why you give it a big base. And then it just goes all the way up to a nice tip on top. Ta-da! I'm actually really impressed with myself on this. So that's one. We have five more to go. Let's see. I should have enough frosting for sure to make it all the way around. Um, but just in case I have some more in the bowl and I can fill it up as needed. Two. Mm, that one's not as great. Ew. Let's see. Oh, I just flicked icing on me. Where did it go? Nice. Okay, let me put some more in the bag and then we'll get to these last four. Okay, the last step in this horrible project that I apparently thought was a great idea is to put the decorations on top of the um, cupcakes. So this is by far my best one. And then I have this monstrosity that is just awful. So this one I probably won't even sell because it's 
just that bad. And then also that one that I just showed you that's terrible, um, I had picked it up to move it so I could do the next one and I um, completely like flopped it over onto the table. So I even have soap icing on my glasses, what a night. Anyways, um, so I just like accidentally knocked it completely on the table so it's been great. All right, so in the beginning when I made the pink and the purple cupcakes, I made these little purple gumballs because I was gonna do like pink and purple icing. So I'm gonna put the gumball on top regardless. Ooh, that icing is setting nicely, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on all of them. And then in this little Dixie cup, I have the mica with um, rubbing alcohol mixed together. So I'm just gonna kinda drizzle it on top and just let like gravity do the work. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. Okay, I'm gonna do that all over. And then I am pretty much going to be done because I'm super over this project because this has like been three days in the making. It's been a nightmare. All right, so let me show you the um, finished product. This is like the best one, so I'll show you this one because it's by far the prettiest icinged cupcake. All right, so it looks like a cupcake, and then the bottom is a rose because, um, you know, everything has to be Harry Potter themed, and when Ron and Hermione grow up, spoiler alert, uh, they get married and they have a daughter named Rose, so these will be cupcakes, uh, Rose's cupcakes is what we're going to call them, and I'll probably always do like different designs, um, not different designs, but different scents, different colors, different all kinds of stuff, but they'll always be Rose's cupcakes, maybe, I don't know, this was horrible, so I may never do this again, but that's the plan, so I have six of them, um, six of them done. This was the goal, like I wanted a pink and purple swirl icing on top. Um, so this is the pink and the purple and I just hurry up and threw it in molds and look how much I had, <laughs> so much. <sighs> but we made it work. Anyways, um, okay, I need to clean off my table because I have mica everywhere, but thanks so much for sticking it out with me and watching it. I hope you like the cupcakes. And again, as always, if you're interested in something like this, let me know. I have tons of samples to smell uh, the soap cupcake that I have, um, but it'll be ready in about three weeks. But again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.